Hello, everyone. Welcome to our short to the point audio podcast. Caitlin Clark will make her first appearance in the WNBA playoffs in the arena where she started her professional career. The Indiana Fever will play in Connecticut on Sunday as the league's postseason gets underway with four best of three series. The two time defending champion Las Vegas Aces will host Seattle, top seed New York will play Atlanta, and Minnesota faces Phoenix. Clark, who had a record breaking rookie season, will try to lead Indiana to its first playoff win since 2015 when current Sun coach Stephanie White was in charge of the fever. This is the third consecutive postseason the league will use a best of three format with the better seeded team hosting the first two games. A decisive third game would be played at the home of the lower seeded team. Number one, New York versus number eight Atlanta. The Liberty had the best record in the league and fell just two wins short of the franchise's first championship last year, losing to Las Vegas in four games. The Dream are in the playoffs for the second consecutive season, led by Tina Charles. Season series, New York won three of the four games with the lone loss coming in the season finale, when the Liberty had nothing to play for and the Dream were fighting to get into the playoffs. Major storylines. The Liberty's chemistry has improved this season, the second with the core group of Brianna Stewart, Sabrina Ionescu, John Kell Jones and Courtney Vandersloot playing together. Stewart has shown again she's one of the best players in the league and is a tough matchup. Atlanta is back in the playoffs for the second consecutive year, the first time that's happened since 2013-14. Charles is a New York native who played several seasons for the Liberty. Number 4. Las Vegas vs. Number 5 Seattle Arjo Wilson has been the best player in the league this year, raising her already impressive play to another level. She became the first player in league history to score more than 1,000 points in a season and has been dominant on both ends of the court. The Aces started slowly this season, while Chelsea Gray was out recovering from a foot injury suffered in the WNBA Finals last year. The team has come on strong lately. They've won nine of their last ten games heading into the playoffs, including a win over Seattle on Tuesday. The Storm added Neka Ogwamiki and Skylar Diggins-Smith in the offseason to add to their competitive edge. Major storylines. The Aces are peaking at the right time to make a run at another championship, with Wilson, Gray, Kelsey Plum and Jackie Young leading the way. Las Vegas added Tiffany Hayes midway through the season, and she's been a solid spark off the bench. Las Vegas knows how to win in the playoffs and will be a tough out. Seattle's concern is the health of Jewel Lloyd, who missed the last three games with a knee injury. Without Lloyd, the Storm will be hard-pressed to knock off the champions, number two Minnesota versus number seven Phoenix. The Minnesota Lynx have been the surprise team of the season, led by star forward Nafisa Collier. Minnesota took the Commissioner's Cup title by defeating New York, indicating how good Cheryl Reeves' team could be. Minnesota is one of the hottest teams heading into the playoffs. The Lynx had won 13 of 14 games before losing a meaningless contest to the Sparks to close out the regular season. The Mercury have been on the other end of the spectrum heading into the playoffs with seven losses in their last 10 games. Number 3 Connecticut vs Number 6 Indiana All Eyes will be on Clark as she makes her postseason debut. The Fever struggled early in the season with a difficult schedule, but have really come on strong after the Olympic break. They had the first the 500 or better season since 2016, the last time the team made the playoffs finishing at 2020. Clark, who set the league record for assists and the rookie mark for points, has help from Aaliyah Boston and Kelsey Mitchell. Connecticut has been to eight consecutive postseasons, the longest active streak. Led by Alyssa Thomas and Dewana Bonner, the Sun looked to end Clark's first year. I hope you guys like this video. Kindly do share and subscribe. Thanks.